Hello everybody, and just Edward here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this super simple tunnel board design by Borkin. I'll leave his channel and video in the description below. This tunnel board is really good if you're looking to collect a bunch of diamonds or netherite really easily in your world. It is very simple to use and very inexpensive. So the basic premise is, is if you right click this note block here, it'll trigger this whole machine and it'll launch a TNT forward and it'll just start mining through whatever you're mining through, stone, nether, rack, whatever, for, if you for some reason built this in the end, sure. It works out any dimension, doesn't matter. Yeah, see, there you go. So to build this yourself, what you want to do, so I'm placing the six blocks apart because if you're gonna modular, uh, put these next to each other, you want them to be six blocks apart. So I'll sh oh, that'll become more important in a minute when I show you how to combine them. But anyway, you want to start with three ancient debris, just like this and now you want a shroom light. It, this doesn't actually have to be a shroom light. It can be pretty much any block. Um, a good reason to use shroom light though is because it'll reduce lighting updates and make it a little bit more server friendly or just lag friendly in general. So anyway, you place an observer observing the shroom light and then into, out of that a, st a sticky piston and then a, another regular piston just like that to create a caterpillar uh, piston effect. And then you want to come two blocks out and then place an observer that's going into that a uh, block that would go into the piston. And now you're going to build the actual duper part of this. So what you want to grab is a wall going into this and then two slabs. And right here you can use either honey or you can actually use slime blocks. It doesn't matter. It kind of depends on what you have available to you in the world. But you want a coral fan that's on top of the observer and then a TNT on top of the wall then a slab on top of the TNT, and a slime block here. This has to be a slime block. This one cannot be a honey block. So even if you have all honey everywhere else, this block has to be a slime block. Now, in order to place this um, rail and minecart here, you can't just place it and put the minecart in because it will blow up. So instead, what you have to do is you place the rail one block away, place a piston like that, like that, and then place your minecart on top of the rail and then power the piston and that will not update the TNT and then that's how you build that. So this is your whole tunnel bore design. Actually, sorry, I forgot one thing. You want to place one regular piston out like this and then an observer coming out pointing into it just like that. That is the whole tunnel bore design. Now, all the stuff in the back here is the engine. So this, if you're going to build a single modular design, all you want to do is place one block here like this, place a sticky piston right below it, and then one block away, place a regular piston facing like that with an observer pointing into it, two slime blocks below it, then under the slime block with a piston on top of it, place a note block with observer observing it, and a shroom light here. And again, these two shroom lights along with that one don't have to be any they don't have to be shroom lights. These two just have to be a solid block. This one can pretty much be anything, as far as I know. But I suggest using some sort of light because of um, lighting updates and lag. And shroom lights are the only solid block light source that's movable. So this is your single modular design. If we just test this, you see it works just perfectly well. And we click this, and again, works quite nicely. So if you're looking to be a little bit bigger tunnel or more efficient, looking for more stuff, and you want to combine two single modules, it's actually relatively simple. So the first thing you want to do is destroy the engine block and make sure you don't update this observer. So destroy it first so you can destroy the whole thing nice and good, nice and easily. And next thing you want to do is make sure that these are both the same type. So slime block or honey block, I'm going to use slime for this example. And then you want to put either one of the two middle blocks, place a sticky piston like that, slime block here and here, observer here and piston here, and then you want to place an observer right here. And now the rest of the engine block is pretty the same, and then note block, observer, shroom light, sticky piston like that, and then one single slime block just like this. So now if we test it, you have a two module tunnel bore just like that, and you can keep going through your mountainside just like that. Now let's say you want an even bigger tunnel. You're looking for a lot of stuff. A four wide module is a good way to go. So all I've done is I copy and pasted two more dual modules here. So these are exactly identical following the 
out step by step I showed over here. So again, the first thing you're going to do is destroy this, these engine blocks because now we're going to be building a new one. Oh, I almost activated that. Okay, so now you're left with hit this. Now we're actually going to destroy this part of the machine. We want a piston here, and then under it we want slime block, or connecting it, sorry, we want slime blocks just like this, and then observers like this. And we want to do the same thing on the other side. Slime blocks connecting, and then observers just like this. Now what we want is a couple of pistons just like this, right here, and same thing on the other side, connect all of these. Again, observer here, uh, observer here. And now we're gonna do similar concept as to what we did over here with this engine block. So we're gonna have a sticky piston here, and then observer here, piston here, note block, observer, uh, observer into a shroom light like this, piston here, and a slime block above it. And then this should be your four module design. If we click it, there we go. Just like that. So this is how you can build the four module, two module, and single modular design. The biggest disclaimer I can say is if you build this in the nether, you have to make sure after every explosion that every module is clear. So a lot of times you'll get gravel in the in the coming out of the ceiling and if gravel starts falling on your machine the TNT is going to stop here and blow your machine up so you have to be very careful about that you also have to be very careful about lava pockets falling a on your machine on the end here and stopping the TNT from exploding but also you have to be careful because if a lava blade runs next to the TNT it can update the TNT and set off a chain reaction blowing up the whole machine Anyway guys, there's going to be a part two to this video. I'm going to be showing you how to make the infinitely expandable tunnel bore, but I'm just, this, is, this is the simple designs, one, two, and four. Infinitely expandable, which we're going to start at eight, is a lot more complicated. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. This to, um, All of these designs were made by Borkin. I'm just showing you how to build them and how they work. So please, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.